It's like playing the world's most high-stakes game of fucking Jenga, but underground. We're talking about the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but not just any old history lesson. Nope, we're diving into how a bunch of super smart engineers managed to stop this iconic building from face planting into the ground. So it's 1173, and these medieval engineers are like, let's build a super tall bell tower. What could go wrong? Well, turns out a lot. The ground underneath was softer than a marshmallow, and before you know it, this tower is doing the lean. Fast forward 1990, and our poor tower is tilting at crazy 5.5 degrees. That's when Italian government went, Houston, we got a problem. So what did they do? First up, emergency measures. They were like, let's slap a concrete ring around the base, that'll hold it. Now is where it gets really cool. The engineers came up with this crazy idea called soil extraction. Basically, they decided to give the tower a little underground liposuction. They drilled these angled holes under the high side of the tower and started carefully sucking out tiny amounts of soil. It's like playing the world's most high-stakes game of fucking Jenga, but underground. They had to be super careful. Take out too much and boom, tower pancake. But that's not all. They also had to deal with the tower's arch enemy, water. See, the groundwater levels on the north side would rise in winter, making the tower tilt even more. It's like the tower doing a seasonal dance. So these clever engineers installed a high-tech drainage system. Think of it as a bunch of underground straws slurping up excess water to keep the ground nice and stable. After years of careful work, monitoring, and probably a lot of nail biting, the results were in, and boy, they were impressive. These engineering wizards managed to reduce the tower's lean by about 0.5 degrees. It brought the tower back to the tilt it had in the early 1800s. That's like turning back time by 200 years. And the best part, they did it without ruining the tower's famous lean. Follow for more.